it was just a regular day on on the farm here uh, as, as a family working together getting up to do the milking and you know it was a bright sunny day as I recall and uh, my wife called me on the cell phone and said uh, there are some ins inspectors here from DATCAP who are wanting to inspect our facility so I told him just tell him to wait outside until I I can come back so I was here in about five minutes they just kindly you know very respectfully asked to do an inspection of our facility and I you know, try to be just as kind and respectful. I told them, no, because we don't have any license from you. You are not, you are not obligated. You don't have any jurisdiction to come in here and inspect us. They made a few phone calls, and within two hours, they had the deputies here with a warrant. And uh, so I asked them to take a few minutes to review the warrant and uh, call my lawyer to ask a few questions, you know, what I should do. They allowed me a, just about one minute to look at the warrant, but they said they wouldn't allow me to call my lawyer before they, they just forced their entry into the building. They looked into the tank and there was like 2,300 pounds of milk in the, in the ball tank, which boils down to like 325 gallons, I think it is, around 300 gallons. So they uh, put some blue dye into that milk so we could not even use it for our family. Uh, I would not have dared to feed it to the animals like pigs or chickens. Uh, basically, they said you have to dump that onto the field. So that's what we did. And then they said now comes the hard part because uh, it is not legal to sell this raw dairy. All this stuff is not legal to sell it to the public, to the people. So therefore they will have to embargo everything that we have. We didn't really know where we're going to go from there. The Wisconsin dairy industry includes almost 11,500 farmers and is worth over $26.5 billion. But behind this massive industry is one small law that tends to cause some trouble. Everything has to be pasteurized. Normally, breaking this law will leave farmers with some fines. But in 2010, officials got harsh when they threatened dairy farmer Vernon Hirschberger with four criminal charges and possible jail time. The case rocked the industry be the most controversial issue in the state. Vernon Hirschberger faces four charges related to selling raw milk on his farm. Government shouldn't tell us what we can put into our mouth or consume in our body. I grew up drinking raw milk. I drink it every day. We believe it's impossible to make an unsafe product safe unless it's pasteurized. We have a very, very complicated definition of what the term pasteurization means the essence of pasteurization is just a heat treatment. Its definition says that the milk has to be pasteurized in equipment that is properly designed and properly operated. Behind that are hundreds of pages of regulatory language that define what that really means, you know. So, so to legally do it, right, it's not a simple proposition. You know, it's sort of uncharted territory from a regulatory standpoint, from a legislative standpoint of what that regulatory language would look like. There's just really no way to control the presence of these pathogens at the farm level without a legal pasteurization system. But if you ask a scientist who's skilled in the art of um, you know, um, raw milk, you know, pathogens in milk, then there's no other answer. You, sh you shouldn't, shouldn't be drinking it. In 2013, the USDA estimated that over 27 billion pounds of milk was being produced in just Wisconsin. That's a lot of milk and a lot of money on the line. So I talked to the people who naturally have the most to say about such a huge industry. Lobbyists. Sometimes you got to take a stand on an issue that's maybe not the most popular. We've worked for more than 100 years to build this reputation as an image. And we're going to fight for it on our side. It's a, it's a corporate control thing. So, I mean, what, what you want to do if you're a corporation is you want to basically control the entire you, you, it's vertical integration. So you want to control the source of the product and its final sale. And they want to basically have a monopoly on milk. It's sort of ironic that, you know, farmers are allowed to drink their milk every day. And it's not like illegal for them to drink their milk, but then in fact they try to provide it to consumers who want the same opportunity that like becomes a big issue. So that, that's, for me, it's sort of hypocritical. This is how I would compare raw milk. 
If you see a 50-year-old man on a motorcycle not wearing a helmet going down the interstate, what would you think? Okay, well, it's his right. He wipes out, does this or that. Helmet laws are all over this state, whether you should have helmets or not. Okay, no problem. You and I are adults. We make that decision. Geez, that guy should wear that. Ah, oh, he's fine. It's his right. What if that 50-year-old man with no helmet had a 6-year-old kid with no helmet on the back? That's the argument about raw milk. But a lot of people say this is the big guys trying to chase out the small. Not true. This is about ensuring a safe product, and we're darn well also going to protect our state's $26.5 billion dairy industry. So By this point, I had pretty much come to understand why pasteurization was important. But I just couldn't accept the fact that a small-town dairy farmer like Vernon could have gone to jail for breaking this law. It boiled down to they were wrong, not needing license. I was freed on all the licensure violation charges by the jury, and um, that's the way they interpret the law. They said, he's not selling to the public, and licenses, license are only for people selling to the public. This is a private agreement. And I was under the impression that I do not need any license for what I'm doing. It's not, I, I was clear in my conscience that I was not violating the law in any way. I think the Vernon Hirschberg case was illustrative of where the public is here. The juries said, hey, wait a minute, why are we wasting money preventing this guy from selling milk? I mean, he should be a free person. The people who buy milk are free Americans. Why would we have any of our state employees wasting taxpayer dollars going after per, poor Vernon Hirschberg? And they're right. I mean, to me, it's a scandal. Raw milk is what I grew up with. Uh, on, on you know, point number one is that I feel you know that's the way God created milk, and uh, that's in milk in its best form is from happy cows eating like they're intended to eat, and uh, they'll give healthy milk, and that's what God created for us. Uh, point number two is just simply uh, if pe if that's what people want, they should be allowed to have it. People are tired of government growing and growing and growing and ordering around and telling people how to run their lives. You know, our forefathers came here to get away from the burdens of Europe, and they come here and they find out the Dairy Business Association said you should have less freedom in Wisconsin than they do in France. Consumption of fluid milk in the United States drops 3% every year. And I feel like we as the raw milk people are getting that blame. If the whole raw milk thing would, act, would just shut down, no raw milk all over the United States, I don't think the consumption of pasteurized milk would go up at all. You know, I, really, I really think this world is big enough and there's a big enough demand for milk, if it's good milk, that there's room in this world for both of us. We don't have to be kicking each other out or trying to put each other down. I don't think we have to. We can just, you know, I think we can walk side by side and, you know, we can be friends. That's who I'd like it to be. Food is a very intimate thing. You know how it is. You eat when you're in a good mood, you eat when you're in a bad mood, and this and that. So people, what they put in their body is very important. The plight of a dairy farmer is, you know, it tugs at your heartstrings. So I understand that. I mean, you know, I understand the need to keep our farming community healthy and well and so forth. It's embarrassing. I mean, I, I, it is really embarrassing, and I hope it isn't that publicized nationally that our, our Dairy Business Association has less confidence in their product than they do in, in other states. Absolutely. So we, we, want, we want to see more dairy farmers in Wisconsin. We don't want to see more cows on grass. We want to see more consumers with the choice of being able to get food direct from farmers. I mean, that, that's the vision of, of agriculture in Wisconsin I want to see. You know, I don't really, for me, I just like to to do my thing and just to farm and not be a hero, I guess. <laughs> but I guess if that's what we're called to do, I guess we just don't know any better.